Hello, all you starfighters out there. Commander Kingfish here, and I am back in Starfield. And we are in continuation of the UC United Colonies Factions uh, mission. And uh, we just finished up in the last episode. We uh, went to Londinia and procured all the necessary information that we need to, I think, to stop the Terramorphs attack. But there's still some questions. And I have been tasked with, I've got to go back see and see Vevictus. So that's what we're on our way to do right now. So we've got to go down to uh, sec subsection seven and talk to uh, Vevictus. Now, not sure if he's a good guy, bad guy. In the war, he was a, turns out to be a bad guy, but I'm not so sure. So, so let's get on in there and talk to Bay Victus and see what he has to say. And I think once we get done talking with him, then we got to go back and meet up with uh, Hadrian. All right. Okay. Hey, Victus. Well, what a pleasant surprise. When I heard you and Hadrian were headed for Londinian of all places, I presumed you must be onto something big. Did you find what you were looking for? Oh, yep. Oh, well, let's see. Don't play dumb. We know you were behind the attacks on New Atlanta. Oh, we did, and a whole lot more. Good news, then. So, what exactly are you doing here? Plenty still to be done in defeating the Terramorphs, no? Uh, we found a recording of you discussing the use of Terramorphs as a weapon. Did you? Well, I don't know what you think you heard on this recording, but I sincerely hope you didn't come to the wrong conclusions. After all, Given the cabinet's current state of anxiety, they might misinterpret such a discovery to mean I could have been involved with the attacks. Perhaps I can convince you to keep this among us. Ah, uh, well, let's see. Let's do it this way. I've got no plans to uh, tell anyone. I just want to know the truth. You want to hear the words, then? I did it. The Terramorph attacks on Tau City. New Atlantis. My doing. Years of coordination between my associate and I. Figuring out how to deploy the Lazarus plant's pollen outside of Londinian. Learning to synthesize it. Use it as a weapon. Now, being as clever as you are, I'm sure you have thoughts on why I might do such a thing. Well, yeah, I think to work on something that long, this seems personal. You can be more right. The attacks were a correction. When I discovered the plant, I did consider handing over what I'd found, but we were at war. And I couldn't risk information that dangerous falling into the wrong hands. So I ordered the bombing of the Londinian spaceport, fixing two problems at once, halting the spread of the city's terramorph outbreak and sealing away knowledge of the plant's potential. All right, so no secret is so dangerous that you can't justify condemning so many lives. Let's see, you just took it, you just said it took you years to use the plant outside. You killed them for nothing? Or that information should have been handed over. Secured it to keep it from ever being used. Yeah, they all could uh, be a good... Let's see. Uh, yeah, please, no secret. It's so dangerous that you could justify condemning so many lives. now. But at the time, I didn't know the Lazarus plant couldn't be plucked from the ground and used to cause even more death. I 
wasn't going to allow another dangerous variable to be added to an already catastrophic war. But then, as the war ended, my trial, my execution, I made a decision. After all, I'd given everything for the colonies. My life as I knew it included. And what did I get in return? Was there any effort by the UC to protect my legacy? My daughter's legacy? No. We were sacrificed when all we did was serve. So I kept what I'd learned and arranged the attacks to set things right again. My daughter. She becomes a hero. I become a trusted advisor, having found Kaiser, the research team, and cement my new position of influence when I hand them the name of the person responsible for the attack on New Atlantis. The dear departed Dr. Reginald Orlais, the associate who aided me all these years, and whom I always slated to take the fall. What luck he was stopped dead before he could hurt anyone else. Is decades on the run, brought to an end by another unlikely hero. You. Oh, jeez. So you murdered UC citizens because of some slight against your honor. Ah, so. I'm just your cleanup crew. You must think you're very clever. Or Lays. Why does that name sound familiar? How could you have coordinated all this from here? And why the hell do you care if the UC wants you as an advisor hmm where well, they're all good good answers uh, ooh, let's see well let's take this it wasn't easy but the beauty of being loathed is that people will do whatever they can not to deal with you oh. they wanted to pretend I didn't exist and so I use their blind eye to my advantage. Still, establishing a back channel to Orlais via the UC recovery teams was painstaking work. I've led campaigns less nerve-wracking. They believed they were luring in wanted criminals, but were in fact delivering precisely encoded slates, filled with instructions invisible to any but their recipient, mm. dropped off at just the right moments to fall into the proper hands, all without the UC realizing whom you were actually dealing with. Slow work. <laughs> but as you can see, ultimately effective. Uh, so, I'm just your cleanup crew. You must think very clever. Captain, please. You've benefited here as much as I have. Maybe more. It's why I had our lays reprogram Kaiser. Had that old machine guide you to where I found the plant all those years ago. I went to great lengths to ensure your and Hadrian's success. And look at the results. I know for a fact the cabinet's planning to honor both you and Hadrian once this is all done. Isn't that preferable to languishing away in obscurity? Running jobs on the tail end of nowhere for the Vanguard? With only the vague hopes of perhaps earning the right to buy a home in the well someday. Ah, uh, they'd be honoring me for cleaning up your messes. If you're waiting for me to say thank you, you're going to be here a while. I suppose there have been some benefits. Oh, good Lord. Uh, I suppose there have been some benefits to all of this. What kind of honors are we talking about here? Ah, they'd be honoring me for cleaning up your messes. You're being honored only because I arranged the situations where it could happen. Be grateful. And let's not forget the importance of our actual endgame. Eliminating the terramorphs. Securing knowledge of the Lazarus plant. What we've set in motion is going to protect thousands, maybe millions of lives. I'm simply requesting one more life be protected. Mine. I've already sent along the evidence of Orlaise's role in the attacks to the cabinet, leaving out my own involvement. All I ask is that you confirm as much to the cabinet. Tell them that it was Orlaise and Orlaise alone. After all, I do 
still have a long list of threats to the UC. This needn't be the end of our good works together. You know, I'm not sure what I'm going to tell the cabinet. All right, no, fine, because obviously we can get more missions from uh, Bay Victus here, so fine, I'll make sure everything is pinned on our leads. Splendid. Then I won't keep you. You've got important work, after all. Here's to a bright future. Okay, we got to go speak to Hadrian and Percival. So, let's see, where in the hell am I at? Uh, here. All right, so once I get to Hadrian and Percival, I'll catch up with you all. All right, well, I'm here at the Office of Interstellar Affairs. Let's see, and uh, we're here to come into the cab. Yeah, here we go, Hadrian and Percival. Perfect timing. We just got in. So on our end, good news. The microbe and the Aceles are both as effective against heat leeches as they are against terramorphs. Means either plan should work for clearing those critters off our worlds. Considering what the Lazarus plant is capable of, I don't think we can deal with those things fast enough. I already sent along info to the cabinet to get them up to speed. So what about your end? Did you find anything? Any leads on who might have committed the attacks? Oh, you know, it was a man named Dr. Reginald Orlais. He perpetrated the attacks. Orlais? Reginald Orlais? He did this? I didn't think he was still alive. You're sure it was him? Positive. The evidence is on its way to the cabinet as we speak. That's some impressive work. So then give us the rundown. Where's Orlais now? Were you able to bring him in? Was on a mission to bring him in and uh, yeah, I killed him. Didn't realize what he'd done at the time. Huh, I see. Wish we could have questioned him, but well, there's nothing we can do at this point. Any idea why he might have done it? Or what he was doing with the plant? Ah, uh, not sure. I never found a confession. I can't imagine the amount of work it took to deploy the Lazarus plant off-world. Strange to go to all that trouble and not state your reasons. Well, the man knew how to hold a grudge. I wouldn't be shocked if this was him getting back at the UC for trying to put him on trial. Hmm, I guess... Well, at least he won't be able to hurt anybody else now. Might be the best we could ask for, given the circumstances. So I guess there's nothing else to do but get this all in front of the cabinet. Unless there were other things we needed to discuss. This might be our last opportunity to talk things through before the cabinet weighs in on a decision regarding the Terramorphs. I guess which method of dealing with the Terramorphs are you two leaning towards? Microbe is going to make the cleanup a whole lot quicker. If we're concerned about this Lazarus plant getting deployed again, that's the way to go. The cabinet can secure the Lazarus plant, and then we're not risking any surprises when it comes to dealing with a microbe. You're being paranoid. You know the science. You know we can make this safe. I do know the science. I also know math. And a one in a million chance of a mutation isn't zero. So, I guess we're still in discussion. Probably best at this point to let the cabinet weigh in. See if they have a preference. Okay, nothing else on my end. Let's head in there. And here we go. Okay. Well, this should prove to be interesting. Hey. Hey, well, you're in my way. Okay, come on, Hadrian. Get on up there. 
And I get to take center stage. Welcome back, all of you. I wish we were meeting under better circumstances. Yep. But according to Hadrian's report and the second one I just received, it seems the Terramorph attack on New Atlantis was no random occurrence, but a planned strike. Is what I'm reading here true? That's correct, ma'am. It was a deliberate attack. My God. An attack? Using Terramorphs? How is that possible? You will all receive a full briefing once we're done here. So then, is what the second report claims correct? Did Reginald Orlais commit these attacks, Captain? Uh... Yes, it was Orlais. That appears to be the case, ma'am. The Captain tracked that information down just after our trip to Londinian. Reginald Orlais? Wasn't there a report he'd been killed recently? Body was found floating around Etheria. Report mentioned you were sent to try and bring him in, Captain. I guess that didn't go according to plan. Ah, uh, yes. I was told about your mission, and who ordered it. Did you two suspect at the time Orlais might have been involved in the attacks? No idea, ma'am. We just thought we were dealing with a known criminal. Hmm. Well, it appears you were ahead of the curve. This report contains definitive evidence Orlais triggered the attacks via this Lazarus plant the Captain and Major Sanan uncovered. Simply heroin. Yep. Indeed. Though it would have been preferable for him to have finally faced the UC's justice, it seems both of you are to be commended for ensuring he was dealt yep. with before he could strike again. You have our thanks. Oh, now, thank you. With our villain unmasked, we can attend to the other matters at hand. With the threads you've brought together here. The Lazarus plant, the attacks, the heat leeches. The three of you have likely spared thousands of lives. But it now falls to the cabinet to ensure this can never happen again. As such, the cabinet will be securing the Lazarus plant on Londinian. All materials related to the plant will be classified to ensure no one else learns its true nature. A sound decision, Madam President. Uh... Let's see, ma'am, I believe the other factions should be involved in securing the Lazarus plant. Uh, securing the plant is enough. It should be wiped out. What sounds of measures will these protect the last... Ah, jeez. Agreed. That's the right call, ma'am. I'm glad you think so. So then, to our final topic. The Cabinet has agreed to implement a plan that will deal with the Terramorph, and now also Heat Leech presence on human worlds. In fact, we've already begun enacting measures to check all UC ports and settlements for undiscovered nests. But we all understand this is only a partial solution. The project we're embarking on will be a long and difficult one. So our first step must be deciding how exactly this all will be handled. Madam President, this microbe is clearly too much of a risk. The Asili's are the safer approach. To someone with limited knowledge of biology, perhaps? The technology behind the microbe is solved science, Madam President. It isn't dangerous. Using it to wipe out the Terramorphs would be the quickest path to protecting humanity. And fast results always lead to the best outcomes, don't they? As you can see, there remains debate among the Cabinet. We were hoping your group might issue a recommendation. Major? We've been having similar debates ourselves, but the Captain has yet to weigh in. Mm. I see. Captain, I know this may not be your area of expertise, but we'd like to know your take on the matter. Uh, the Terramorphs have caused enough damage, they need to be wiped out as quickly with the microbe. And I think that's probably the correct response. Glad to see someone's not afraid of a little applied genetics. The science division is in full agreement. And Major Sinan? Dr. Walker, you'd find this acceptable? We trust the captain's judgment. Then the matter is settled. We'll begin the process immediately. Today marks day one for the United Colonies Terramorph Management Division. 
making you three the founding mm. members of the TMD. As befits such a group, the cabinet wanted to display its gratitude. Today, we will be adding three new Class One citizens to our ranks. Class One? For the three of us? Are you joking? What he means to say is, thank you, ma'am. Oh, yeah, yeah. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you, Madam President. You all have earned it. Now, there's much to be done. Major Sanan, Dr. Walker, I hope you two are willing to continue your efforts spearheading the TMD's research on Mars. We'd be honored, ma'am. As for you, Captain, the Vanguard will be providing much of the on-the-ground support for the TMD. As a member of both the Vanguard and the TMD, I believe you'll have your pick of duties. Mm. Speak to your commander. Tuala, if I recall correctly. He should be able to provide you with assignments going forward, plus help you collect the benefits that come with being named Class One. Ah. On behalf of the whole of the United Colonies, you have our sincerest gratitude. This meeting is adjourned. Okay. All right, credits added. Nice. Uh, Legacy forged, completed. Oh, all right. So I think we've got to go talk to uh, Captain Talia. Everybody's kind of disappeared. Speak to Commander Talia. Yep. So let's go do that and see what Talia has to say. Speak to Vevictus about working together. Yep, we could do that. Uh, all right, let's see here. Uh, the old neighborhood uh, activities. Uh, speak to Commander Talia. All right, he should be downstairs, I believe. So let's go see what Talia has. Another day, another shift. Uh, okay, yep. All right. E, uh, the Nat station. Oh, lobby, Commander Talia's office. I thought I'd put that in. All right. All right, here he is. Here's the commander. Hey, commander. Uh, well, well, I've got to say, this is a first. I've never had a class one citizen in my ranks before. Congratulations, captain. Thank you, commander. It's an honor. No need to thank me. You brought this on yourself. I've already gone ahead and processed your Class 1 benefits. All UC goods and services should now have a thanks for protecting the colonies discount. Oh. And the credits should be in your accounts now. But to get into your penthouse, you'll have to pay a visit to the Affilion Realty Office. Penthouse? We should be able to grant you access. Oh, 12,000 credits added. Nice. All right, that's incredibly generous. Higher-ups wanted to make sure you know how much they appreciate what you've done. But, with all that squared, it's time to get you a new assignment. There are your standard Vanguard missions, putting those pilot skills to use defending UC space. Or you could help the TMD in cleaning up Terramorphs. Oh, and I got a request from Dr. Walker. Wanted your help collecting biological samples to keep an eye out for any, uh, new alien threats on the horizon. Any of those missions call to you? Ah, uh, let's see... Uh, wow. And let's see. I am, I've done my duty now. Let's see. I'd like to run a Vanguard mission. Only ever really done the one. Uh, let's uh, start with uh, Percival. Let's see what Percy has. Sure. He'll have all the specifics. If you find yourself looking for more work, you know where to find me. Okay. Nice. All right. Well, let's go check out. Let's go check out our penthouse for crying out loud. So we have to go talk to. All right. Uh, activities. Uh, speak with Zora at the Affilia Realty Office. Okay. 
All right. Okay, that's right over here. Wow. Okay, this ought to be cool. And... All right, we get a penthouse. Okay, cool. All right, here we go. All right. It's a buyer's market right now. Good time to make a move. Are you sure, Zora? Well, well, if it isn't the United Colony's newest class one citizen, you've made quite a name for yourself in New Atlantis. In nice. fact, the higher ups want to thank you for your dedicated service by giving you one of the nicest pieces of real estate in the city. It's a premium penthouse at the top of Mercury Tower. Best location in New Atlantis, in my professional opinion. What do you say? It'll just take a second to get you registered as the owner. Well, sure, I'm interested. Great. You're in for a real treat. It's one of my favorite apartments in the city. Okay, you're all set. Your new home's located in Mercury Tower in the residential district. You'll love the place. It has a gorgeous floor plan and an unbeatable view of the city. <laughs> now that you're an owner, I'm sure I'll be seeing you around town. Okay, building it. Materials added to the ship's cargo hold. Visit your new penthouse. We can do that. And sorry about the uh, Bethesda bug where she walked away and everything became blurry. But let's go check out our new penthouse. It's over in the Mercury Towers. Let's see, where do we got to go? Uh, probably that's over to the residential area. So I will uh, see you over there at, uh, at the apartment. Okay, we're here at the Mercury Tower. So let's uh, head up and see what our new apartment looks like. Okay, and... We're here, and, ooh, penthouse. Wow, look at this place. Nice, very nice. We have, uh, looks like a spare room right here. All right, we can shut this door. And then uh, maybe another room over here. Oh, yeah, looks like another little room with a view out. Got it's dark outside. And then we've got a uh, balcony view out here with a view out over uh, Jameson. Very nice. Very nice, okay. All right, what else do we got here? Uh, oh, really nice shower and restrooms, bathrooms, okay. Oh, this looks like it could be a bedroom be a very nice place for a bedroom and or shower room master master bath I guess and then I th think and yeah another look out over New Atlantis and out over Jameson okay well let's close that door those we can leave open. I think that's about it. Oh. Looks like a second bedroom. And. Ooh, closet and laundry. Holy smokes. Okay. All right. Well, we've kind of looked at everything. Well, okay. Well, I think we will finish the episode up right here. Uh, that was the UC Faction mission where we were battling the Terramorphs. 
and we've come to a conclusion. So I guess we're off to uh, the next uh, faction's mission. I'll have to decide. I've already kind of signed up with the uh, Ryujin. Let's see if we look at our uh, uh, missions. Uh, I've got, uh, let's see. Yep, that's uh, the Ryujin. Yeah, okay. Yeah, that was the Ryujin. I think that's how you so, so say it. Ryujin Industries. So uh, that will probably be the next one we need to get started with. And uh, oh yeah. And then uh, after that, we can kind of decide on the next faction after that, which could be the Freestar. Uh, I, and again, I haven't even touched the main uh, constellation uh, uh, mission line, so uh, we still have a lot to do. Okay, well, uh, if you like this video, please hit that thumbs up. It really will help out the video a lot. And please subscribe, that will really help the channel. And uh, ring that bell. Uh, it'll let you know when I upload new videos, and I'm doing that all the time. All right, all you uh, starfighters out there, uh, keep your heads low and don't get shot. And with that, Commander Kingfish is out of here, and I will see you all in the next episode. Thanks for watching, everyone.